Deadlands takes place in the Weird West, a treacherous frontier where legends are born and nightmares are real. Here, five wild cards come together to seek fortune, justice, and revenge, and their just reward. Hello everyone, welcome back to Oxventure Presents Deadlands. I'm Andy and I will be your marshal today and I am joined by our players, if you'd like to introduce yourself, starting over here. Hi, I'm Jane, I'll be playing Garnet Munro. I'm Mike, I'll be playing Silas Flint. Hello, I'm Ellen, and I'll be playing Edith Valentine. Hello, I'm Luke, I'll be playing DeLacy. Hi, I'm Johnny, I'll be playing Nate, or what's left of him. <laughs> Woo! Uh, thank you to Misty Mountain Gaming for sponsoring this episode. We're playing with some of their Cage Gear dice today. You can go to mistymountaingaming.com to check out their fine wares. Thanks again to Misty Mountain Gaming for the support. Such jingle. Okay, so as we start today, uh, the group, you're all together for the first time in a while. You're in the saloon in uh, Kreutz Rath, um, the town where your adventures first began, and you're having a drink. Um, Victoria has told you to come up to the house a bit later. She wants to show you something. Um, but for the time being, you're in the saloon, just um, just hanging out. Folks, to the end of things, mm -hmm. because it's the end of our time together, I assume. We've done great work, and uh, here's to us. I'm without a drink because I've finished it, presumably. <laughs> this one I'm empty. <laughs> I'm without a drink because it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm without, oh no, no, I'm, yeah, I am drinking pints of whiskey. Oh, <sighs> are they bombing out the hole? Is. Uh, no, because it's it's in my chest. All right, oh, the stomach's okay. fine. Um, but yes, no, I'm just just without any any apparent like effects whatsoever. Just like uh, 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 just pints of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Another, please. Old oh, man can back him away. Mm. I can't wait to be able to drink that much whiskey. Any whiskey. <laughs> we'll start you off s slow, All right? And then if things go. Well, I wouldn't say your way, but if they go the same way as they have for me... Shot to death. Y yes. It's it, likely. Hmm. I suppose it is. Wait, hang on. What happened? Hmm? Oh, Nate was... Nate was shot to death. Garner was there too. I thought you would have told everyone. Just a big gaping okay. hole in my chest. <laughs> I was um shot uh, fatally, and then uh, I was resurrected, uh, being driven by a, a minor a demon, you might say, or spirit, from a, a place called the Hunting Grounds, which eventually wants to take over my corporeal form and uh, wreak hell uh, upon Earth. Um, I've also been uh, shot um, T twice more and uh, hanged. Yeah. Have we met? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how that didn't come up in conversation until now. Yeah, I I kind of heard things, but I didn't quite believe it. It's something, uh, some, quite something to set my eyes on. But sure, you, you look good considering everything you've been going through, Nate. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. We have met. We with... have met. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, How's the uh, pickling process going, Nate? What's the current smell level? Uh, I would say that I'm quite, because I knew I was going to be in company, I'm quite diligently pickling myself. Mm. But Harrods don't need water. So I think Nate just will have given up on that habit. So I think it's safe to say he's looking quite raisiny, <laughs> like quite desiccated <laughs> at this point. Like shrunken and like mm. yellowish browning to his skin. Like he looks like a corpse. Mm -hmm. like... Whoa. You've, you've caught the, the sun there a little, perhaps. Just old. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> I, I am, in fairness, very old. <laughs> yeah, um... This is what know. happens when you turn 30. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've given it astonishingly little thought. <laughs> well, what all of uh, you uh, been been doing? De Delacy, I've not seen you since I... Well since the last time I, I saw you. Ah, oh, Nate, I've seen things that I never thought were possible. Me and Miss, me and Miss Edie, we, um, Edie, yes. we went to, uh, uh, we went to, uh, what was it called? What do they call it? Fair of the world, world. World's fair. World's fair. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, um, uh, yeah, there were beasts and monsters. And oh. We made, oh man, we made some good friends. I met some heroes. I had a really lovely time. Did everyone else have a good time? 
We got arrested. We, d- we did, mm-hmm. yes. But we constructed a compelling case for our uh, release. We murdered the judge. <laughs> In fairness, <laughs> it was it was one of the bounties. But now I have this gun. Uh, I put a, like a, it's a big six sheet on the table with a scythe blade underneath it. It's just like <gasps> bang. It's your gun envy. Wow, that's mighty impressive. Mind? Oh, no, go for it, son. Shoot me in the chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to do a few gun tricks, get the balance, and then I don't, I don't <laughs> with the scythe. Yeah, it's got a wicked sharp has, scythe. Your yeah. thumb flies off. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about a foot long. The scythe blade that sticks out of the front. Come of on now, don't be shy. Shoot old man Nate in the chest. Uh, yeah, I imagine that Delacy can tell if a gun is loaded just by picking it up and the weight and the balance. So yeah. It the doesn't gun. go off. Oh. The gun doesn't fire in your hands. Oh, right. <laughs> See, it only works in the hands of a uh, what? Uh, of, uh, <laughs> of what? What's called a hole? And I just want to. <laughs> uh, yeah, the bartender ducks and covers under the. He's like, God. <laughs> Can I fire? I'd like to fire somewhere between the regions of like eight and sixteen shots. Okay. Yeah. Roll until, a d- roll a d twenty. Okay. Great. Uh, basically, until. Because I imagine Delacy's a shot, uh, shot counter. That mm-hmm. is a nat 20. Okay. Um, I'm imagining someone in a bathtub comes down from the, <laughs> <laughs> the level. Uh, Yeah, that happens. <laughs> after, after I shot 15, I want to be like, <clears throat> it also never needs to be reloaded. <laughs> yeah, the floor gives away from above. A bathtub falls down. A man's like, oh my God, I'm, just, I'm an out prospect and I only wanted a bath. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to put my gun away. Are you Im- impressed by this, Delacy? Or are you acting cool? Uh, well, of course I'm impressed. I'm, I'm staring at the gun with, um, yeah, with, with admiration and, 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 yeah. A hint of envy, but it looks like, yeah, it's not something that I, yeah. The price, the price to obtain it was quite high. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Oh, oh I died. Um, as, oh, as, I thought as, you were going to say like $400. <laughs> oh. No, uh, well, I, I suppose... Because I don't have $400. No, uh, poetically... I could die. We, we are supposed <laughs> to be well paid for these That's jobs. That's free. Um, but uh, poetically, I, I could say that the price I paid was much higher. But then, uh, frankly, I, I think you'd struggle to find anybody uh, here out uh, in, in this, this weird west who would consider me worth $400. So... Hey, if I had four hundred dollars, spend it on you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. I did start my own business. Uh, it's called uh, Meat Strips Du Jour, <laughs> and we've actually got a new product. This oh, is yeah. our new famous meat roll. Uh, it just keeps going. Oh. And, um, <laughs> it's made oh, of no. uh, meat. It's great for um, the trail. What do you like, Trump? <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah, Edie, would you like some? Uh, I'll, you want to answer Nate's question? I'll, I'll try some, sure. Okay, look out, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What manner of creature is this uh, endless jerky made from? Yes. Yeah, is it a man or a creature? <laughs> hmm? Is it a man or a creature? Oh, my ears are so tired. <laughs> I'm very old. <laughs> well, anyway, if it's not too presumptuous, I'd just like to say that it's been a... Pleasure, um, you know, riding out with all you folks. I've barely seen you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, it's been a pleasure. Oh. Well, cheers. Here's to you, kid. Yeah. Mm. I'm still empty. I don't have a glass, but I'll just like, oh, I can tap a gun or something. Mm. <laughs> I got deputized. Yeah. How long does that last? Well, indefinitely. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> I remain a deputy. <laughs> so, wait. Everyone's dead, right? We killed everybody on the list. Mm hmm. As far as I know. Job's right. done. Job's done. Let's go get our money and, I don't know, we figure something. I guess go our separate ways or whatever anyone else wants to do. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like perhaps this was quite easy? I was uh, expecting that. You died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I know that, that but easy. no, I mean, I mean. It, I can't. Everyone I guess the that's what I'm saying. Is I can't believe we found ourselves at this juncture, having done everything we set out to do. 
so swiftly, and with all of us more or less uh, intact. We must be powerfully effective as a team. Yeah, mm. I'd, I'd say all that's right. the case. I think you're right, Garnet. No, there's got to be something else. <laughs> Nate's right, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's too quiet. Possibly then because I've shut up a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's fled. Yeah. There is the sound, sound of someone of, quietly loofering. Yeah, the sound of soft sobbing from the man in who's, the bar, who's still in the bathtub in the yeah. middle. Nate's right. I would like to go on alert. How does that look? Uh, it just involves kind of sitting back and just resting, <laughs> resting my hand on. Cool. On yeah. Now things. that you mention it, the town is. It does seem very quiet today. There's the. Uh, the bartender in the saloon, of course, there's the man who was loofering, but um, you can't hear any sounds from the streets outside. It's kind of quieter than you would expect at this time of day. Can I go up to the, can I go up to the window and just like, peek out? Yeah. Subtly as my hat will allow. Just do me a <laughs> notice roll, please. We're talking about a four. Cool. Yeah, the street's deserted. There's no one out there. See a uh, tumbleweed. Barkeep, why is it so quiet out there? I don't know. I ain't been outside all day. I've been here. Go out now and have a look. <laughs> See what's going on. Frankly, y'all should go out now. You blasted a hole in my damn bar. Do you remember me? The thirsty kid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I got important business in uh, the back, so <laughs> I'm leaving now, he says. I'll go. I'm... As far as I can tell, functionally immortal. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to wander out into the street, <laughs> completely ob- oblivious to any danger. Just cool. like. Pfft. I move to the window and yeah. like, press up against it and mm. see what happens. I'm going to follow Garnet. Mm. Um, one of the tumbleweeds rolls up and strikes you in the shin, but it's just it's just some tumbleweed. No one out here. It's very quiet. Okay. <laughs> well, does the tumbleweed have a disease on it? <laughs> <laughs> It's regular, it's regular tumble. Okay, all right. I don't know. You can't be too careful. First rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, can I look up at the the house at the at the top of the street, right? That where are uh, you know? Yeah, sort of off the street yeah. and up, yeah, uh, up a small hill. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can look at it. Mm-hmm. Everything look everything look normal and chill up there. Yeah, from here it looks absolutely right. absolutely normal. Have we collected the, you know all our all our dues from mm-hmm. Miss Victoria? No, you so so you dropped off all the. All the rings as rings. you got them. Yes. Um, uh, she said she had to arrange some stuff and ask you to come back in a while. I see. I see. So you could get your payments. Has a while passed? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, you've been in here drinking for a while. Well, let's mm-hmm. go see Miss Victoria. Maybe she'll know what's what's going on in this town, why it's so mm-hmm. quiet, and we can get paid. Paid yep. properly. Then I can get back on the road or, or whatever. Separate ways, I imagine. <laughs> well, it's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to, as a group, you're going to walk across... And then yep. up yeah, the yeah. Uh, up the past. <laughs> Stop yeah, looking yeah. at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to stomp the tumbleweed as I go by. Yes, just, give it. Just smash it up. Give me athletics check to see. Okay. How <laughs> <laughs> easier. This tumbleweed. All right. I imagine it's like a, a big sphere of autumn leaves. I've never stomped a tumbleweed before. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's more like sort of thick um, bracken. Oh, like almost. an ensnaring bracken. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of spiky and pointy. <laughs> you may end up with it attached to you for the rest of oh, the Oh, well. Oh, wait, sorry, I need a... Yeah, you got to roll two dice. Well. Yeah. And that's a six. Hey. On a six. A six again. on a six. Keep, keep going. Beast. And then a five on a six. So that's an 11, so that's two successes. Cool. Right. Okay, yeah, so you... Um, Kick it apart. Yeah, you punt it and it just goes into flying into the sky. Okay, And good. like Team Rocket, it just... Bing. <laughs> yeah. Safe and sorry. Yeah. Tumbleweed is gone. You re- you really killed that tumbleweed. First success of the game. Love it. Not, I don't know enough Deadlands to know that there isn't like a cursed tumbleweed. There is that, one. It's <laughs> all the tumblebleed. Well, there tumble we go. It's oh, like a vampire. All right, you're welcome, everybody. I could have just saved us from a vampire tumbleweed for all we know. All right. Was it a tumblebleed? No, it's just some. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make it all western now. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that there's a vampire tumbleweed. <laughs> I like yeah, that you said it as a joke and it exists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, things things now seem you know pretty normal. The scary tumbleweed has been kicked oh, into the sky. <laughs> um, so yeah, you uh, you cross the street. Um, you walk up to the uh, the entrance ar- arch to, to Bulltail Ranch. Um, you all pass through it. And as you pass through the arch leading up to Bulltail Ranch, there's a sudden clap of thunder, and a change seems to come over the place. Um, 
you look up at the house and it now looks different. Um, it's new and undamaged, um, unlike how it was before. As you can remember, it was sort of patched together and had a lot of, uh, a lot of cosmetic damage to it. Um, that sounds the, less scary. The sky is now purple and there are swirling clouds. Oh, okay. um, that sounds more scary. Overhead. The architecture of the house is like shooting off in unusual angles. Um, well, that sounds more scary. So that's mm-hmm. two more scary, one less scary. Yeah. yeah. Making it one more scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are now uh, in the Deadlands. The Deadlands. The Deadlands. Which? Um, Nate, you feel a sort of a tug at your soul, almost. Um, there's like a cacophony of whispers start to fill your brain. Um, Garnet, you also feel an unusual sensation. It's like full body pins and needles. Um, you're comfortable, but when you like move your limbs, you can feel it sort of shoot into your limbs. Um, and while you're here, because of the level of sort of background magic, nothing that you do will consume power points. Oh. That feels good. It's a sort of background level of... Yeah. Presumably I feel magic. nothing. I'm like, weather's turned. Yeah, mm. I want to lock eyes with Garnet and be like... Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is like the, the this is like a, a kind of supernatural plane mm-hmm. uh, from whence the manatees come, right? Yep, it's part of the, of the hunting grounds. Mm. Um, like an underworld. Yeah, like an, a separate plane of reality. Are okay. you saying that to the group? Um, I say it to the group. <laughs> In a more certain way. <laughs> I try and walk back through the arch. See, yeah, if, it, see if it switches off. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can't, you can, you can not pass through the archway. It, see, it feels, even though you can see through it, it feels solid. Uh, uh, weird. I'm starting to suspect that perhaps there was more to this ring and the gathering business than perhaps Miss Victoria led on. Or Miss Victoria's in terrible danger. It's we- true. I mean, I yell for Miss Victoria. Yeah, assuming she's inside the ranch. Yeah, uh, yeah let's go no... hammer on the door. Yeah. Uh, the door is actually ajar, oh. so you can mm-hmm. go Makes hammer it easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hammer it once. Hammer it once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, okay. Yeah. So you hammer on the door, um, and you hear Victoria say, "Ah, you're here. Come in." Oh, she's not in terrible danger. No. Um, Miss Victoria. I, I, so you're all going in. Then. Uh, well, I'm yeah, outside. He's speaking into the door. I'm standing through the door. I'm like, Sorry, I can't hear you. You'll have to come in. What? She what? Says. What rightly is happening mm. here? Sorry, I didn't get a word of that. Uh, okay, what is happening? I can't see you either. <laughs> so I'm through in the parlour. Well, you're you're responding to me in some way, mm. so you must be able to see. I'm just. Assu- I'm kind of assuming what you're saying. I can't really. Well, <laughs> when I speak, can't really make it out. Miss Victoria. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Miss Victoria, get out of here now! Can't we need he- to talk about this weird weather! Can't hear you, sorry. I, I'm gonna walk in. Again, like like the decoy duck. Just like, <laughs> do I die? Quack. <laughs> oh, quack. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you move forward into um, Victoria's, um, into her office mm-hmm. area. She's um, sat at her, her desk. She has the um, the rings in front of her. <laughs> On the desk. Um, Go on. Okay. It's quite distracting, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, the rest of you are all just stood in the front garden. Are you just hang out? I'll follow Nathan. I'll follow Nathan as well. It's fine. You can stand out in the garden if you want. I'm gonna just stand the room. by the doorway, just kind of like peeking in and just seeing how Nate responds. Cool. The door okay. supernaturally slams shut in your face. I'd like to stand outside the doorway to the office. Okay. Keep fine. some cover between me and Miss Victoria. <laughs> so I'm sort of like peeking around the door frame. Like a Rainbow Six team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Stacked yeah. up. Got a little mirror, an old Breach time clear. mirror on a. Yeah. Okay. You'll know how to make a meal of going in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Victoria! Yeah. Um, Can I just try and walk directly to her? Yeah, that's fine. So you two are in the office with her. Um, yeah. She's like, well, I was hoping to speak to all of you. Um, We're here. I'm like hammering on the door. I'm waiting for the doorway. Okay. Yeah, the door is, is not locked. It's it's open. You mm-hmm. can open it. I'm um, hang my hat up on a hook. Mm-hmm. What's happened around here, Miss Victoria? What's I, going on? I mean you no harm. It's it's fine. You can come in. I have a I have a very exciting pro- proposition for you. Ooh. Why are we in the Deadlands? Ah, yes. You noticed that, did you? <laughs> yeah, we noticed that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss, mm. to be honest. Yes, well... I didn't so, know you trafficked in this kind of thing. 
Uh, so she, yeah, she has the rings on the table, but also um, next to that, um, you can see uh, if you recall the box that you retrieved from the train oh, yes. in the first episode. Mm -hmm. That's also sat on the table oh, okay. as well. <laughs> It's um, you remember it sort of looked like a reliquary of, of some kind, oh, yes. right. um, something to hold maybe a kind of religious artifact. You would have thought um, mm -hmm. if you'd seen it. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and there is there is a, and a kind of an oppressive atmosphere in the room. You feel it's sort of coming off the rings or maybe the box, but you feel sort of weighed down as, as you're here inside the house. Um, so uh, Victoria's there behind the desk, but she seems very kind of sunny and excited. So um, she's like, okay, uh, I want to say the five of you, you've done such incredible work. Um, you started out as just mercenaries, hired guns, um, people I, I paid money to to do a job for me. But, um, you know, unlike the ones who, who tried before, I really feel like, you know, we, we connected. I really f feel like I've grown to consider you friends, allies. I think we work really well together, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree? So I feel like a friend may have told us about this whole Deadlands thing. Right, yes. I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Correct. Um, it doesn't tend to go down particularly well, but I feel like I feel like you'll understand. I feel like this will be different. Can I point my gun at her? Um, yes, you can try. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, make me an athletics roll. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey, six on the six. Nice. And a five on the six. Okay. So, did that hit with the rays? Yeah. Okay, so um, you go to your... Do you have a holster or is it just in a rope? Uh, I have a sort of... Yeah, it's like a makeshift homemade holster. Okay. Bits of leather kind of... Yeah, with rope loop through it. <laughs> yeah. It's a sock. <laughs> <laughs> a sock? All right, it's not a sock. Fine. So yeah, you've done this hundreds of times before and this feels like it's going to be a real good pull. Um, so you off. go and... You, <laughs> you reach for the gun, but that oppressive atmosphere that I was referring to earlier, it's like your arms are leaden and heavy. Um, you try to lift the gun, but it's like it weighs a ton. You can't lift it. And your your feet feel sluggish. Your body feels slow. Um, you've not experienced anything like this before. Um, and she's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, she's up to something! I don't... What is this? I don't, I, honestly, I mean you no harm. You'll just allow me to explain myself. Well, start explaining, lady. So, the people that you've been hunting down, the Red Hand Gang, um, they weren't just a, a band of outlaws. I mean, you've you've met them, you saw them, you saw what they could do. Um, I imagine you've come to the same conclusion yourselves. Sure. They're part of a much older, much more destructive group. Um, Bellows himself was war. Daisy Ducrow, uh, she was... Pestilence, of course. Um, Judge Boudreaux was death, and uh, Unga herself was was famine. They were what you would more commonly refer to as horsemen of the apocalypse. You've done Horses. an incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they were behind this. I knew it. I told you. You've done an incredible service by. By killing them, by getting rid of them. At this, she bring, she picks up the box and brings it directly in front of, of the rings. And uh, if you recall, I described it as having, being a sealed box with no lid. Mm -hmm. And as she brings it near, the top of the box evaporates in like curling, oily coils of smoke. Um, she reaches inside and she produces a fifth ring. And this one has a symbol of a sword upon it. And she says... Um, there's something else I haven't been entirely truthful with you about, but I do hope that you'll hear me out. I think you'll be interested in what I have to say. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there was a fifth horseman, uh, Conquest, or in the original Latin, uh, Victoria. Um, we were all of us deceived. The, the fifth finger of the, of the red hand, um, she says. Uh, the five of us, we were sent to Earth to Wipe the slate clean. I mean, you've you've been out there. You've seen how it is out there. I mean, you can see why it's needed. Um, the other the other four horsemen when we got here, they decided not to go through with it. They rather use their powers to cultivate their own interests, pursue their own desires, build their own little petty empires. I wanted to stick to the plan uh, to fulfil our purpose, 
so I was I was cast out. They took my ring. Uh, they took my power. They sealed it all away in this box. They could only be opened in their in their presence. So they left me here powerless. But then you came along. You killed them all. And now we can start again. I mean, Lord knows we failed in our mission. It's time for some new blood. What do you say? We have the new five horsemen right here. Nate, you came back from death. You you mastered death. You are death, Nate. Sure. Silas, you have the unlimited martial rage of war. I do. Garnet, there's a hunger in you for something else, something bigger. You could be famine. Uh, Edie, your past loss has infected you like a disease. The pestilence. It's... And De Lacy, you've defeated so many and yet still so young. Conquest, you would take on my power. You would become Conquest, the horseman of the apocalypse. I assume this is what you meant by uh, proposition. Uh, I... We failed. You five have proven yourselves capable, worthy, and I think that you will be able to do the job that we were unable to do. And I'm just... I'm really excited about this. What happens to you when you give up this power? I mean, I will perish along with everyone else when the world is destroyed. See, this is the job to which you're referring. Yes, to to usher in... The apo- you see, we are in the Deadlands now. The, yes. the apocalypse would turn the whole world into the into the Deadlands. And that is good how? It would reset this awful, cursed world full of liars and cheats and immorality and sadness and hatred. And you think that a whole bunch of monsters is going to be better? Well, it's better than what we have now, right? I can't even draw my pistol here. This place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought you would be into this. I we. I don't we've, know. We're, we're friends. We've worked together. We've you defeated yeah. the horsemen. I th- we did that to make the other world a better place. Not now. If we do this, we're gonna re undo all that work and have to reset everything. We also did it for money, uh, Miss <laughs> Victoria. And uh, now I'm into my. 90th decade as a, a living man, and I've just made a start on my, my first decade as a, a, some sort of horrifying revenant. But if there's <laughs> one thing I've ever learned, it's um, don't make friends uh, with those uh, you employ. They will never r- respect you. I thought you were all on my side. You're going to betray me like the others did. Is that it? Well, in can we talk fairness, this over? We can. What? How? I mean, can what do you we have to talk say? Oh, you over. would like to talk it over? Yeah. No, I mean, by all means, please discuss. We're gonna step outside. Yeah. Outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Out of the office, at least. Sure. Okay. You leave. She's like leaning around. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I will leave. Actually, to Lacey, I think I'll stay here. I don't think there's much to discuss. It's pretty cut and dry situation. The stakes are, you you must admit, fairly high. Fine. We've killed four horsemen. We could kill a fifth. Is this in the presence of Mr. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. In oh. fact, I'd like to lock eyes with her as oh. I say it. Oh, okay. You know, I, for once, uh, find myself uh, entirely aligned with uh, the thought processes of this uh, precocious, um, cold-blooded killer of a child. I, for one, uh, do not wish to um, end the world. Humble Ned's in there. There's good people. There's still good people. Yeah, I just said. And <laughs> <laughs> you want him over. Well no. done. <laughs> Let's not go too far. <laughs> yeah, I sure didn't sign up to bring about the apocalypse. I mean, yeah, my whole existence is about fighting monsters, and then she wants me to 
pour a whole load of monsters into the world. That goes against everything that I've been doing in my life. She wants you to become one yourself. Exactly. That's even worse. Also, uh, not to drag this uh, again to a, a, a financial um, a transaction, but if we end the world, money will have no value, and therefore we did the work for nothing. <laughs> It's very, very practical. True. Also, you got pestilence. That's I a know. Deal. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed about that. I'm kind of pissed about that, I will say. I didn't even meet Famine. What was I Famine know. like? She wasn't very nice. No. <laughs> none of them were. <laughs> so none of them were, none of them were very nice. And that would be us. I, I don't want to be not very nice. It ain't justice. So we're off a of mind then. I think I so. I agree. Are we I uh, was this in an open conversation with Victoria overhearing you? Well, I think she's got her ear to the yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any point you're trying to like conceal anything from her in this place. You know, you think she can easily like, mm. even if we all went to the bathroom and locked ourselves in. <laughs> <laughs> if you were if you were in hell and you went to the bathroom and locked yourself in, do you think the, the devil, devil could not be allowed you? to listen in? If I you're no longer need room. to go. So it, would be, it would give us away immediately. That is true. Excuse me, Victoria. The five of us need to use the. We all need to use the bathroom. The he Actually, doesn't it would, urinate. It would be an outhouse as well. Wait it? a minute. <laughs> Why would he? Need I didn't to go, go before we left. <laughs> Silas's face sticking out the crescent moon door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Victoria, having heard all this. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I guess it's too late to pretend we're on her side. Take the powers of the four horsemen and mm. turn against her. Then. Yep. I say we should try and murder her. <laughs> So Victoria looks at all of you, her face hardens, she looks heartbroken, and she fixes you with a stare. She's like, fine, none of you will help me, then I'll have to do it myself. And she slips on each of the rings. <laughs> uh, a sudden wave of dark rings. power seems to pulse out from her across the room, um, and she, her eyes go opaque, her hair starts to float, and you are confronted with Conquest, the horsewoman of the apocalypse. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we should have got those rings. Should we yeah. be like, yes, please, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> should have said right. we do it, and then let her perish. Yeah, and then no, be like, right. let's, well, do let's not do it. <laughs> let's not do it and say we did. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go outside with done. the rings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did it. <laughs> one yeah. dead land out there. Yeah. Which yeah. continent did you eradicate? <laughs> Suddenly the bathroom plan doesn't look so yeah. silly. Ohio! <laughs> yeah, so the, the room that you're in... Um, Hello to you too, Nate. I said, which continent? <laughs> <is there?"> hey! <laughs> All right, you two. <laughs> oh, yay! Whoa. I didn't see it coming until I hit the deck. That was terrifying and wonderful. We're going to need as many of those as we can get, I have a feeling. Thank you, Marshall. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, we're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Oxventure Presents Deadlands will return after these messages from our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Misty Mountain Gaming, who have given us some of their Cage Gear dice to play with today. You can get a set for yourself and check out the other gorgeous Misty Mountain Gaming products by going to mistymountaingaming.com and check the description of this video to find out how you can win your own set of Misty Mountain Gaming dice. Thank you to Misty Mountain Gaming for your support. You know how it is, you go to the World Series of Poker looking to make your fortune winning big on the big jackpot, but then you get there and you don't have any playing cards, and they don't have any because they forgot as well. So what are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to go to store.outsidexbox.com and pick up your own set of Oxventure playing cards. It's got this beautiful Oxventure motif on the back and on the front, all the regular playing card stuff. You'll be getting a raw flush in no time with Oxventure playing cards, and it works with any other card game. Uh, uh, blackjack. Uh, gin Rummy, Pokemon, doesn't work with Pokemon, but the other ones, it works with them. So go to store.outsidexbox.com to check out these playing cards today. You know why everyone was so angry all the time in the Wild West? Well, I'll tell you friends, it's because t-shirts had not yet become accepted wear around town, but now they have, and you can wear this one, which is the Oxventure Presents Deadlands t-shirt. It's got all of your favorite characters, um, Yandrew, uh, Cl Clemency, um, Big Jim, all of them are there, and you can wear that on your body by going to store.outsidexbox.com, check the link in the description of this video, or the merch shelf underneath this video, and you too can check out old Uncle Clandrew here. They're all all, pop, all the popular characters, so check that out, wear some Deadlands on your body today. 
So the room you're in um, suddenly plunges into near total darkness um, and it's as if time stops um, for everyone except you, Silas. Okay. Got it. So, yeah, you're stood in the office. Everyone else seems to be frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, the room is dark and you hear a voice calling to you from outside. It says, Silas Flint, I'm calling you out. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah? All right, I'm coming out. So you walk out um, from the house into the sort of the front, um, the, the lawn part of the, uh, the path leading up to the house. You see a, a man stood there. Um, he has um, sort of slightly upturned nose, kind of quite prominent teeth. Um, he's thin to the point of uh, emaciation. And uh, you don't, you don't recognize him, um, but uh, he has. He also has a large, large shotgun wound in his chest and a sort of pattern of shotgun pellets up his face. And he look, he sort of fixes you with a, a glance and he says, um, well now, Silas, I don't believe we've been introduced. I don't believe we have. My name's Benjamin Bellows. I see. I used to hold a position of some power that your colleagues stripped from me. I understand. And now I understand that the position was offered to you. It was? And you turned that down. I did. Are you familiar with Harrowed? Only that they drink a lot of whiskey <laughs> and eat a lot of jerky. Yeah, it doesn't look like um, Bellows has been keeping up with his pickling because uh, he is he looks way more corpsey than uh, right. than Nate does. But he's half the job's done then. He's still up. He's still <laughs> he's still got a gun, and he's, he says, um, "I lost my ring, and now I'm in service to the ring bearer." So you and I, we're gonna have a duel. All right. What do you say to that, Silas? I say, with those teeth, you're a real horsey looking fella. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, all right, so. <laughs> you'll remember how uh, how dueling works, of course. I've never dueled. Never dueled, all right, so. No duels. I'm gonna deal you, um, do you have any uh, edges? that give you an advantage in this sort of scenario? Not in dueling, no. Unfortunately not. All uh, Other than that, I can f I've got the two-gun kid thing, but presumably... I mean, could I duel and fire both guns at the same time? You could tr yeah, you could try. Presumably. Like, yeah. Well, I wouldn't have any kind of penalty for that, mm, so... No. Who's going to tell you that's against the rules? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could deal you an additional action card uh, for that. Cool. So basically, I'm just going to deal, deal each of us three cards. We'll pick our highest card. Yep. And then we'll, we'll go with that. We'll see how it goes. All right, cool. So uh, describe how Silas prepares for this. Uh, it kind of works the old shoulders. It's been a while. It's been a while since he dueled. Um, but he's uh, he's got the two guns. He's got the two-gun two, two gun kid, you know, edge. So he's he, this is not unfamiliar territory, but like as a lawman, he wouldn't habitually solve his problems with dueling because he's got the authority. To, to not have to, basically. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, he's he's a little little rusty, but you know, he gets two guns out. Cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Bellows. Um. Lines up opposite you. Mm -hmm. and deal some cards. That's uh, it's round one. Okay. The deals. Um. So yeah, he uh, he fixes you, and uh, he points to there's a barn yeah, that's part of the um the buildings. It has a clock on the. Uh, mm -hmm top of the sort of, there's a tower. Yeah, a little tower, yeah, yeah. Front. Um, and he says, uh, when that hits noon, you can see there's like two minutes to noon Got it. right now okay. on the clock. Um, and it appears to have some sort of chime. Uh, is there anything you would like to do? And would you like to talk to him? <laughs> yeah, or anything like that? Word. <laughs> <laughs> like to introduce you to my business associates. I point to the two guns. This is justice. This is more justice. Well, it's a pleasure to meet them. This is a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Okay, and it's now one minute to noon. Okay. Um, I think he's going to try and shake you. Interesting. Okay. I already killed one of your friends, and now I'm going to kill you. Okay. Um, so I want you to make a spirit roll. Fine. Okay. He's going to be opposed. 
That is a six and a three. Roll the six again. And a four. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You beaten the spirit roll. So I don't have any friends. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a good thing we're all frozen. Yeah, that. All right. Last one. Okay. All right. Going to decide what card you're playing out of those. All right, I've got one. Got one in mind. Okay. All right. If you pick the one that you're going to play. Yep. I got it. Okay. And on three, mm -hmm. the clock is going to strike. Twelve. One. Two. Three. All right. Yeah, it seems. Um, seems several weeks of being dead. <laughs> Haven't keep done up great the things for um, for Bellows draw. Uh, he he goes through his pistol, but he's he's too slow. What does what does Silas do? Um, well, given that I won the duel, I think Silas is gonna rather than you know like you might turn your body to the side to create a smaller target. He's forgotten that that's the thing, so he just pulls out both guns and and like from the hip, so not even bring them up, but just from the hip, like unloads both of them at the same time. Um, Two bullets. It's the greatest draw of, of Silas's life. Mm -hmm. The two bullets basically just intersect in his in his heart. In his um, heart. Yeah, well, that's sort of area. Or what? Wherever you like. Well, yeah. where well, where do you like? Uh, I'm aiming for centre mass, so I'm assuming that given that it's gone well, they're going to. Well, be I mean, look, look, look at the injury table. And look <laughs> <where you> can... <laughs> oh, the heart is. The I shoot the, the dick. I the heart is good. <laughs> If you want to shoot, if you want to shoot him in the dick, you can. <laughs> well, if you're going to present me with that option, yes. If you're firing from the hip, it's called unmentionable. Well, so I mentioned we'll it. <laughs> I've never stood on ceremony. I shoot him in the dick. All right, cool. Um, Sorry. You shoot. <laughs> you shoot. Harrowed bellows. Yes. Yeah. In the dick. In his harrowed bellows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> his arrow blows. That's below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be feeling that in the morning. <laughs> of course, I'm old, so business as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an appropriate conversation to be having with a child? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just um, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, we are frozen. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Nate's sorry to catch on in his head. He's like, Delucy? Yeah. Delucy! Aww. This is Nate's internal monologue. Aww. Okay, so you've shot him in the in the groin. The gen yeah, the yeah. gentleman. That's not what he said now. <laughs> <laughs> now, regrettably, it's that collaborative is... collaborative storytelling. <laughs> regrettably, that doesn't really do anything to a Harrow. Really? Um, yeah. Well, um, so he sort of goes staggering backwards, um, but he's is still going for his gun. So I guess I guess we're, we're gonna have a fight now. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. All right, that's a seven for you. Yep. And a nine. It's fine. I got to shoot him in the dick. Sorry. It sends a powerful statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so he's gonna try. He's gonna try and shoot you. He is like okay. he's on the ground and he's basically gonna try and shoot. Sounds you. Sounds like now. a disadvantageous position mm. to me. Let, don't let this be the time Mike dies because he had to shoot someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I think this. I how old my character? Yeah, no, you're right. That, that tracks. All right, good. That's a success with the raise. Oh. Um, shooting roll. What's your uh, toughness? Simon? My toughness is uh, five. Okay. Eat some meat, jujor. <laughs> <laughs> It's that, good. It is good. It's full of opiates. Is that making you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like an infinite pepper army. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so you are shaken and you take one wound from this bullet that uh, he fires from the ground and it tears through your shoulder. <sighs> Should have finished the job, I am going to soak it. I'm going to soak it. Can I soak it? Yeah, of course. I spend a penny. All right, do a roll. Mm -hmm. uh, what do I roll? Vigor roll. Soak. What's the soak roll? Vigor roll. Vigor. Vigor. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, that is a five and a one. Right, so, yep. Success. You success. soak that one wound. Um, cool. All right, you are shaken. If you want to act, you'll have to do spirit a roll, right? spirit roll to unshake. All right. Uh, that is a three and a four. Okay, so yeah, success. Um, mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Uh, aim for something that isn't his penis, I All think, right. probably. <laughs> um, what so, is that? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Um, I should not say. 
<laughs> it's good. It didn't work so I'm kind of <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to territory. What other body parts are there? Um, you know what I'm going to aim for? I'm going to call um. this target with both guns. <laughs> don't, don't make my mistake, Luke. <laughs> um, what I'm going to try and do is shoot him in the throat. I'm going to try and sever his head from his body. Oh, okay. All right. right. It, I'm going to try and basically disconnect. You know, I don't know a lot about zombies, but I'm like, if his head's off, like, that's presumably going to present me with some kind of advantage. He didn't like getting shot in the throat last time. Yeah, he got oh, no, he was. He got he shot in the neck. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, so it's already it's, flapping. It's already, it's already hanging off, it's right? It's already part off. Let's finish the job. Let's All right, finish fine, the job. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do a shoot roll. I've got a D8 for that. Yeah. So this is gun number one. Yeah. That is a two and a one. Okay, gun number one misfires. <laughs> okay, fine. Gun number two, however, is a four and an eight. Right, so an eight on the eight. Just, what, eight, on eight. Mike, what happens when you roll the highest Thanks number? <laughs> and a six. Okay, so that's nice. a... Success under two raises. Two raises. All right, that's what it was going to take for it to take the head off. So <gasps> yeah, do me, a, do me a damage roll. Extra d6 to the raise, so I'll borrow if that's okay. Go for it. Uh, so that's uh, a two, a five, and a six, and a three. Two, five, six, three is 16. That uh, his head goes flying off his body and rolls part way down the path. Um, it's still sort of screaming and, and gathering, um, but it is now disconnected from the body <laughs> okay. and uh, Bellows no longer um, poses any kind of threat. Unless Good. you go near him and he can bite you, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. the rest can I go and you... stomp on his head? <laughs> yeah, just punt it into the sky. Yeah, or... actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's right. get, <laughs> give him just the... an athletics roll, see how far it goes. Having having seen uh, Garnet have a crack at this before, I'm like, well, the tumble, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, okay, athletics roll, you say. Uh, yeah, let's go for, let's go for that. Uh, that is a four and a five. Cool. Yeah, you punt it really hard. It goes um, soar like kind of a volley, and it goes flying nice. down the path, and it collides with the doorway um, that you came through earlier, <laughs> which, as you know, is a solid uh, thing now, and it just sort of bursts against the... <sighs> nice. Bursts against the nice. door. It just goes, Silas! <laughs> <laughs> um, the rest of you who are in the, in the room with Victoria, you see the, um, the ring with the skull on it kind of crack. Um, as this happens, and a sort of wisp of oily smoke comes out of it. Um, Garnet, you suddenly feel the force that was holding you in mm -hmm. place seems to release, but in its place you feel a kind of hollow emptiness, a yawning hunger mm. inside you. The exact opposite of the feeling you had earlier, in fact. Um, mm. And... Did you have a big lunch? <laughs> <laughs> um, your power points have actually all drained away, leaving a gnawing hunger Oh inside no! You. Oh. Zero um, power points? Victoria Grim. looks at you and she says, let's see how you do without your tricks, Garnet. Why? Uh, you hear a soft moaning sound coming from across the room and moving towards you is a, uh, a humanoid figure. Um, it's sort of pale. Um, it's, shuff it's got a shuffling gait as it moves towards you. Its skin is kind of corpse gray. Mm. And uh, this is a ghoul and it's moving towards you and looks ready, looks ready for lunch. Um, right. So yeah, you and this ghoul, you're gonna have How like, embodied does this ghoul look? Does it look like phantasmal or like looks solid. solid? Okay. Solid as, as it gets. Alright, shoot its face off. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's a cool shot. I shoot it in, an, in the air, in the areas, in the general areas. <laughs> the unmentioned ones again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Work for me. Can we shoot all the horse? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, you go first. Yeah, this ghoul is moving towards you. Okay. Um, but before you do anything, you're going to need to make me a fear check. A fear check? Oh, it's mm -hmm. pretty scary. Alright. Uh, it's hideous to behold. Alright, and that's a spirit roll, isn't it? Mm hmm. Fear check. Mm. Have you done your daily fear check? It is, uh, that's a four. Okay, so you succeed. Yeah, you just. This, yeah, this ghoul is horrible to look at, but you sort of steal yourself and. Oh. And I'm scared because I've got no power points. Shake it off, yeah, so. And that's scary. Too. Yeah, there's a, yeah, a yawning hunger where your power points mm. used to be. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, you, you can act. Okay, great. I draw my um, cult peacemaker. Mm hmm. And let rip. 
true to its general direction. Okay, do me a shooting roll. All right, let's do that. That is a six on my six, so that is a four on my six, so that's a ten. So it's a success Success one one raise. Okay, cool. Roll me damage. Damage. All right. And add a d6 for the raise. And that's two d6 plus one, so that's three d6 plus one. Can I borrow this one? That's better than a shotgun at point blank range, you know. Is it? Oh. Oh, that's wild. All right. That is a six plus one. It's a seven plus a five, and then I'm going to roll again on my six. Okay. So we're starting with 12. 12 plus. Oh, that's a 6 again. It's 18 uh, plus a 2, so that's 20. 20. 20 damage, please. That's a success with a raise. Um, so yeah, you have you wounded this this ghoul. Describe what happened. Wounded. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> How big is this ghoul? Uh, kind of human size, but it's. I mean, it's, a, it's an undead monster. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's a physical wound, right? They're not just. Mm-hmm. And it's lurching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wound me. <laughs> lurching towards me, is it? Mm-hmm. How yeah, close is it at this point? You. Oh, um, very. It's quite close at this point. Probably about six feet away. Okay. Well, I barely take time to aim because it's so close. So I just kind of like pull and fire mm-hmm. and hit it. You know, in the in the in the face. I guess. Um, cool. Yeah. The uh, the ghoul kind of wheels back away from you, um, screeching, uh, and it's going to try and claw at you. Um, okay. with its, How fast uh, is it? Clawy claws. How fast is it? Yeah. Good question. It's pace of six. As fast as a human. Fast, fast as, as me. Crit. Okay, right. There so I can't like kite it around a table uh. for a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ghoul's doing a fighting. While well, everyone else watches. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> okay, that's an eleven on the fighting. Oh boy. Roll. So success with the raise. Um, Benny's in close. <laughs> um, what's your parry? My parry is two. <laughs> oh, no. I never um, learned. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the ghoul um, slashes at you with its claws. Oh. Um, you take a wound. Okay. Which you can Unless... try and, you can try and soak if you would like. Um, but also, before you do that, make me a vigor roll against paralyzing poison. Oh, okay. I can't soak the paralyzing poison. But I could maybe the wound. You could maybe use the wound, yeah. Or I, you, uh, I mean, you can use the bendy to re-roll the vigor check, I guess. That yeah. is true. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, let's do a vigor check. First things first. Ah. That is a six on one of my two sixes, so I'm going to roll it again. I'll stop looking up paralyzing poison. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, a nine, so a success and a raise on the vigor check. Yeah, so that's fine. I'm unpoisoned. You're unparalyzed. And I would like to spend one Benny on soaking okay. the wound. Do a vigor, a vigor roll. A vigor roll. Okay. That's to soak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, that is a four. Okay, so one success. Yes. Um, so that clears, clears the wound, but okay. you are still shaken. Yeah, all right. Um, okay, get rid of the Benny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang! <I see> <laughs> these card, <laughs> these card tricks. Marshall has keys. Slight like of hand in the bed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, you're on a king. Okay. <gasps> yes. Is yes. Against a jack. Ha. So you go first. All right. This thing is howling and it's kind of scratching you. It's very close to you. And it's ignoring it's everyone else in the room. Mm-hmm. Victoria's watching. Yeah. Got to unshake. Oh yeah, I've got to unshake. So we can do a spirit roll first, mm-hmm. right? But otherwise, I can do nothing. Well, but you can get clawed. Yeah. <laughs> Die of your injury. Good job, I got so much that spirit. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> too, too spirited. All right, let's re roll those. That was too spirited a roll. There's a six on my six, and a one, so seven. Great. One yep. success. So you can act. Okay, oh, great. How's it looking? Not great. <laughs> where, where it was shot. It didn't look great in the first place. <laughs> okay, but, um, fine. Yeah, it's got a big hole in it that's sort of oozing um, a kind of white eye core. Oh. Yeah. Okay, right, well I would like to sh- shoot it again then, please. Yeah, go for it. Okay, all right, let's go for another piece, uh, another shooting roll, sorry. And uh, I'm going to a four. And that is a five. Okay, one success. Yeah. One success, so I'm going to roll two roll d6 and a plus one for damage. That's five plus four is nine plus one is ten. Um, okay, so it's shaken but it doesn't, it doesn't die. Okay. So yeah, it's Does it just... take any damage? Does it nope. take damage? No, it no. takes no wounds, but it is shaken. Oh, okay. Um, okay, this thing is now going to try and... Yes. Unshake, Unshake. I guess. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? All right, <laughs> what's its experience? Yes. D4. 
Ha! Useless ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid useless ghoul. All right, no, it doesn't unshake. Good. The ghoul is um, yeah. still like gibbering and howling. Stay shook, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And a five for the, for the ghoul. All right. Nice. Yes, go on it. You're down. Cards are in your favor. Okay, what's Victoria doing? Just watching this all. Okay. I lunge at Victoria. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't see Victoria. Oh, okay. I, I, you're, you're basically in a, uh, an endless black plane with the ghoul. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that makes more sense than me kind of like dodging and lurching around, around the kitchen. The around frozen, the kitchen. No, 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 this is, yeah, so this, imagine this right. is all taking place in an extra planar oh, existence. Oh, fine. Okay. All right. Darkness. Well, scratch several possibilities. Yeah. You there. can't see the others. They can't. Okay. See you. Okay. Victoria well, no wonder I'm shaking. Perce- that sounds Victoria scary. Victoria can perceive you. Oh, yeah. she can perceive me. Mm. All right. Okay. Hope you're having a good time, Victoria. <laughs> she doesn't um, reply. Okay. Of course she doesn't. Um, so rude. <laughs> well, uh, it's shaken. It can't move. Mm-hmm. It, it appears to be frozen, like fixed yep. in place. So that gives me plenty of time to uh, take my peacemaker again and shoot it in the most advantageous place on a ghoul. Yep. Which. I think, all know. I think we all know. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what that is. Yeah, a brief vision of Silas flashes through your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about ghoul anatomy. In fact, this whole thing is freaking me out because as a huckster, I only, you know, I tend to deal with like sort of like phantom apparition mm-hmm. type manifestations of demons, not physical gooey ghouls. So it's kind of freaky. Anyway, I shoot it in the face right. or thereabouts. Um, Shooting roll. That is a six. Would you believe? Six. A six on your. On my six. Six, cool. Plus a two, so that's an eight. Okay, success with a raise. That's roll a success that with a raise at damage, so I get another six on the damage. So, damage this time is. Oh, so I'm going to reroll that one that fell in my lap. Four plus six plus one, that's 11. Plus one, 12. Um, yeah, that'll do it. So this, um, this kills the ghoul. Would you like to describe? Yeah. Um, okay, because it's shook, it is immobile and it looks scared, which mm-hmm. is freaky because I'm quite scared myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I stride up to it though and uh, take advantage of how still it is and shoot it right between the eyes. I press the peacemaker between its <laughs> ghoul yeah. eyes uh, just to be sure. Yeah. And then its head explodes into cool. a cloud of white ichor. Yeah, you get spatted I-core. with white ichor. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a sort of pitiful shriek from the ghoul. Um, I and remain unpoisoned. Uh, yeah, it collapses, um, and uh, the rest of you in the room, you see the um, the ring that was bared the scales on it, sort of cracks and smoke comes out of it. Um, Delacy and Nate, the two of you, uh, you, sudden, you feel yourself suddenly release from the hole. However, Nate, you can feel a kind of twisting squirming sensation uh, inside your head. The Manitou, the demon that shares your body, is writhing around inside you. And suddenly you can feel Victoria's mind in there as well. Uh, she's, to- she's talking to the Manitou, you can tell. You can't hear what they're saying. Um, but then Victoria addresses you directly inside your head. She says, um, Well, Nate, it seems you decided to let the devil out. So, Nate, uh, I need you to make a spirit roll at minus four. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, with this, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, that is a six, which minus four is a two. I'm worried about hurting my adopted nephew, Aww. so I'm going to belly that. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that is a four, which uh, minus four is a zero. So mm-hmm. no, I have failed. I see. Um, <laughs> Nate, you're going to attack Delacy. Yep. Okay. So, what does this look like to me? Does it look just like Nate is doing it, or can I like sense that something is like? Well, Nate, how would Nate how do you or? think Nate would approach? This, I think do this. Nate kind of goes from sort of like doddering old man be like looking around suddenly like being distracted and then I think it would like be like a physical effort like he's trying to hold himself back but he's effectively just like turning towards you sort of like Terminator style and it's just Ooh. like um, and okay. starts to draw yeah so Delacy make me a fear check um, Nate what's your dominion 
level? Uh, my dominion level is uh, seven now, down from eight. Okay, cool. You are going to use lose a point of dominion every round, and this goes on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Remind me fear checks. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you roll a spirit roll. Oh, spirit. Cool. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Oh, dang. My soul. Your soul. It's, it's been drained soul. away. Don't got drained. It's four. Yeah, that's a success. So you steal yourself against this. Um, Delacy, you have an ace. Thank Eight, you. you have a three. Or do I? Oh. Could I have a second one, please? Mm -hmm. A five. Uh, nope, I'll take the three. <laughs> <laughs> Good old hesitant Nate. <laughs> ace is high, right? Ace is high, yeah. Nate is advancing on you with the uh, the hanging judge's revolver that has the... Um, with the scythe. Has the scythe on it, yeah. I would like to sit down on the floor, fold my legs like a kid in assembly mm -hmm. sits, uh, and just unconcernedly start... Uh, do I have any of it? What's it called? The meat du jour? Meat du jour. Meat strips du jour. jour. Do yeah, I have any of that in my pocket? Probably. Yep. I just want to unconcernedly take out some of that and just start eating it. And just sort of... Are we in, we're in a featureless void, I take mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And I just want to sort of shout into the void like, I don't think so! Um, <laughs> Nate, it's your turn. Hmm. Okay, Let's see what we're going to have Nate do. Give me Victoria! I think Nate is going to attack DeLacy with the scythe part of the... of the pistol. <gasps> Okie dokie! So, yeah, Nate, I'm going to need you to make me a... Hang on. Um, yeah, make me a fighting roll. I mean, it's a d4 rather than a d8, so... That's good. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's a five. Okay, so success. Mm -hmm. Okay, damage on this is um, strength plus d6. Help me, cold man. That is five, eight. Eight. To Lacey, what's your toughness? My toughness is four. Four. Okay, so that's a success with the raise. <laughs> okay, Nate, what happens? Uh, Nate just kind of continues to sort of walk over, and it's quite. It's. But for all that he's kind of resisting, when it happens, it's quite a fluid motion as he just draws the pistol and, like, <laughs> it almost looks like a gun butt, but then, like, a line of blood just kind of blooms on the kid's chest. And Nate's just kind of there, like... Right. <laughs> Dominion that down to six. Um, Nate, make me a, a spirit roll. Yes, please. At zero, Nate's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we know. Um, that, oh, that's, oh! Well, that's Snake Eyes. No! Um, and I'm obliged to tell you that my major hindrance is trouble magnet, so when things go bad for me, they go extra bad. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Define extra bad. That's up to... Unfortunately, that's <laughs> up to the marshal. Define extra bad. Um, <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, well, let's find out in mm -hmm. this, in mm -hmm. this next mm -hmm. round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, right, so DeLacy. Yep. Uh, you have an ace. Again, Joker. Can't spell DeLacy but... without ace. <laughs> yep, but, but, but I must take the lower. It's a nine, so... <sighs> <laughs> My penny! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, DeLacy, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm still sat on the floor, but now with a sort of, like, quite serious yeah. like cut here um all right well what i want to do is i want to use my action to um address victoria okay i want to speak directly to her i i don't know if you would, i don't know if this would be like persuasion or or, or what but it depends what you want to say mm, okay uh all right well i want to grip my teeth and sort of like smile through the scythe pain <laughs> um what do i want to say i want to say um Meat strip. Oh. Miss Victoria, seems to me, if you could have done this end of the world thing all by yourself, you would have already. And the way I see it, I've seen two of your rings crack and go all smoky, which makes me think that somewhere off in this darkness, two of my friends are Doing better than yours did. 
so I think you need us. All of which is to say, I'm prepared to accept your surrender. <laughs> <laughs> um, do me a persuasion roll. <laughs> um, cool, that's eight. Uh, yes, that is eight. Come on. Yeah, well, that's not going to do it. But, oh, and neither's that. This is the one. Okay. Well, that's a five and a four. Okay. Um, spent two. Spent two bennies to get that five. To get five. five. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's a, that's a success. So you, she doesn't reply. But there's a sort of long silence. Um, and what this has done is you you have introduced an element of doubt into her mind, um, and that is conveyed. She is in conversation with the Manitou, and that feeling is sort of passed on to the Manitou. So I'm going to reduce your penalty. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of the penalty. So it will just be a straight spirit check for your spirit checks from now on. Oh, that is it. Um, but yeah, she doesn't. She comes back and she just says, uh, "No, I don't think. I don't think so." De Lacy. If you want to act at all now, you're going to need to unshake. Um, uh, well, I'll unshake because if I want to act next turn, I'd need to do it then anyway, right? Yep. So, yeah, doesn't hurt to unshake. But you can uh, also act, it would just be a, pen a penalty if you wanted to do it. Uh, I'll unshake. What the hell? So that's spirit, right? Mm -hmm. um. mm. Mm. No. no. All right, cool. Um, Nate, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to need a spirit roll. Yep. So I'm down, I'm down another point. Dominion? Not yet. Not until the end of this turn. Phew! All right. Great. That's a six. Okay. Um, um, okay. So yeah, you've, that's a success on the on the spirit roll. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So describe. Basically, the Manitou is going to release its its hold on you at this point. Okay. Uh, I think Nate's going to try and apply some leverage to the Manitou, uh, and effectively very carefully because of the big blade on the side but he's going to cock the gun and point it at his own head wow and be like, okay I think it's best uh, you back off if you want me at all uh, which of course will happen eventually uh, but not if I have no head leave the boy alone okay let's uh, do a persuasion roll for this okay which is a minus two because I'm all harrowed and gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the harrowed thing won't apply to the mana two. Six. It's literally part of it. It's literally in my head. <laughs> well, that's a five. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes, I'm not applying a penalty. <sighs> the, the mana two is into the whole harrowed thing. <laughs> yeah, that's loves it. So, yeah, um, yeah. okay, you don't. It doesn't speak to you, but the thoughts arrive fully formed in your head, uh -huh. um, and uh, the mana two, the words arrive, and they just are. Um, very well, but soon. Uh, great. Uh, I want to drop the gun and just scoop Nate up. In... No, no, I'm Nate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pick myself up. Uh, I just want to. I'm gonna drop the gun and I'm just gonna scoop Delacy up. <laughs> oh, like, oh so sorry. And kind of just like old oh. person annoying checking, like <sighs> trying to work out what's. It's fine. I've had much worse. Not this again. Come on. It's fine. Jeez, so sentimental. <laughs> it's trying to pack meat. <laughs> Only way I know how. Uh -huh. Just gonna get in Go <laughs> big long meat strip. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you back. Um, yeah, so the rest of you, the ring with the symbol of the skull on it, it cracks in the middle and uh, the oily smoke coils out of it. Um, mm. And yeah, finally we turn um, to Edie. The, the, the hold is released on you and unlike the others um, you don't find yourself in a black featureless void the room fades away and you find yourself um, somewhere that's actually it's very familiar to you um, you cast your eyes around and you realise you're stood at the threshold of your of your childhood home your head is hot and throbbing the wound you took in the hospital um, from Dr Harker uh, it seems to sort of ache and you feel your, your chest grow tight again he's <clears throat> few coughs uh, come out um, from upstairs you hear a screaming a crying 
uh, from a young a young man's voice. Um, so yeah, that's that's where you, where you are. Okay, I run towards the scream. Hmm? Um, yeah, very so you, like <laughs> just and Christ shouting out Eddie. Uh, so yeah, you run up the stairs. Um, you see uh, something crouched over a, um, uh, a, f- a figure. It's hard to tell what it is. It's sort of a, a black shape. Cr- it's like crouched. It seems powerful with sort of dripping claws and fangs. Um, it lets out a, a guttural howl. Um, and underneath it, you can see a sort of indistinct shape. Um, what would you like to do? I would like to pull out my... Um Mare's leg, aka mm-hmm. the sawn off Winchester, from under my skirt, and I'd like to just go straight up to this and just try and fire at blank, point blank range, and okay. yell, "Get off my brother!" All right. Um, well, do me a fear check first. Okay. Because this is terrifying. <sighs> right. So. Oh, Say so, uh, seven, but I've got a six on my six. Three, nine. Nine. Uh, okay, success with a uh, raise. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not scared anymore. Okay. Um, roll me damage. Okay, so that is 2d8. Can I roll 8d8? Mm-hmm. Minus 1. Six. And a 5, so that's 11. 11 damage. Uh, no, minus 1, sorry, 10. 10 damage. Uh, Garnet, what's your toughness? Me? None of your business. Mm-hmm. 5. <laughs> Five. Okay, so it's a success with the rays. So, um, <laughs> what this thing that looks like a, a monster to you, you empty the uh, the mayor's leg into it. Um, back in the in the room, Garnet, you see Edie raise her rifle to you, and she fires, and the bullet slams into your chest, and you <laughs> are shaken, and you take a wound. <laughs> Edie, you see the uh, the monster sort of reel back and hiss, and then it sort of turns its got it on um, the ropes. Edie, finish the job. Yeah. <laughs> turns its attention back to the the figure underneath it. Um. Okay. <laughs> Man, I can't met again. This. I, <laughs> I would like you to do me a notice roll. Okay, a notice roll. Okay. Okay, that's a five. Okay, so success. Um, so yeah, looking at um, the monster is still kind of indistinct, and you can't really hold it in your mind. It's like whenever you try to focus on it, it sort of shifts and and moves mm-hmm. um, under your eye. You take a look at the figure underneath the the monster, and it mm-hmm. looks it does look like Eddie, but there's something not quite right about about him. I mean, you know Eddie, and it looks it looks to you more like how you remember Eddie than how Eddie really was. Mm-hmm. You understand my meaning. More well, like um, a ghost of a memory. Yeah. Um, okay. So the the monster um, turns towards you and, and snarls, and the monster's going to try and swipe at you. So, okay. Um, what is your parry? My parry is four. Well, I'm just going to do a straight. I'm so sorry. Versus, God. Versus, <laughs> Okay, yeah, the, uh, the monster swings a, a paw at you and you get knocked backwards onto onto your back. Um, you don't take a wound, but mm-hmm. you are sort of dazed and Yeah, shaken. okay. Okay, I think I should deal initiative here because we are now mm-hmm. basically going back and forth. So you are on a five. Okay. Monster's on a six. Right, fine. Um, you said paw, but it could be a hoof. So yeah, the monster... T- um, <laughs> The monster's gonna do do the same thing again. It's gonna try and smack you again while you're down. So. Oh man. <laughs> uh, real, real jerk. Uh, Heck, that's not playing fair. Yeah. Um, so that's one success. So the monster, <sighs> it's like runs down. And it just slams a sort of big <sighs> paw into the center of your chest. You feel all the wind get knocked out of you, and uh, that would do your wound unless you would like to soak it. Um, I'll take that wound because. Uh, I remember this time I do have an edge that means that I can deal with one wound and not suffer the consequences any, well, and have any hindrances to it. Any penalties, you still any have penalties. one wound. I've got yeah. a wound, but, mm. you know, mm. I can sort of deal with that. Um, okay, your turn. Okay, my turn. Okay, so it's right on top of me. Mm-hmm. It's its hand is right there, right? It just sort of slammed a paw down onto you. Um, okay. Yeah, but it like sort of like that, so it's not pinning It's not you. pinning me. Okay, okay. 
But what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and uh, lean back and like kick it in the face with one of my boots. Cool. Why well, do um, me a fighting roll? That is a four and a five, so that is a success. Success? Okay. Um, <sighs> Garnet, do me a uh, spirit roll just to. <laughs> <you know>. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Seems fair. Uh, that is a six. Fine, you're no longer shaken. Uh, roll okay. me damage on your kick. Okay, what would my kick be? It's just like a strength, isn't it? Yeah, what's your parry, Garnet? You know it's two. <laughs> Well, I've, you know, my strength is only a d4, so I might be all right. Okay. Oh, but I did get a six. <laughs> <laughs> and another six. Oh. Uh, and frozen. a four. Remember so that tumbleweed? Yeah. <laughs> I got, uh, that's a 16. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Okay. So, what's your toughness? It's five. Five. Okay, so, so success with two raises. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, so um, you kick Garnet heavily in the chest. Um, she goes flying backwards, and okay. that can't possibly be two wounds. I would. <sighs> That's two wounds. Two wounds. Oh. Two wounds. Did mm. you okay. have one already? Yep. You know I already had a wound. Okay, so you're on three wounds. Now. I'm on three wounds. What? <laughs> what, uh, what is this from my perspective? Yeah, because what am I like, frozen? Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so. Are the wound's just appearing on me while I'm frozen. <laughs> nice. um, yeah, Edie is just like kicking you hard. Yeah, yeah, but I don't perceive that. But, well, mm-hmm. no. Again, it's like your the room is basically sapping your your strength, your energy. Oof. You're being manipulated. So Garnet okay. can't Garnet can't move, yeah. but you, you like Garnet is perceiving. Yeah. Ed wailing on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fine. Okay. You can soak. Can it. I soak? Oh, I assumed I couldn't soak it because I'm like not really there. I'm no, frozen. but you can. You can still soak. It. Okay, I'm, I'm so I am frozen, but I can soak. Well, in that case, I'm gonna. Yeah, go so, would. Go yeah. Soak it. Soak, so soak would I have to use two many so to try sorry. and soak two wounds, or nope. one many to try you, and soak you two? You remove one wound for each success. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Let's uh, spend one and see what that gets me. So okay. then so I'm going to roll, roll vigor. a vigor. Because th- this here on my character sheet, the wounds thing only goes up to three, mm-hmm. and I don't know what happens after that. If you maybe take a fourth, better. yeah. <laughs> if you take a fourth, well, well, have have ink, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, that's what it's down <laughs> for. Incidentally, you're fine. All right. Well, that was uh, two twos, so that's not getting me anywhere. Mm, yeah. Well, well we roll that. hell, let's spend the third Benny then, and then that's a five. So that's a success, right? Okay, so can you okay. remove one of those? So, I can remove, on, so now I'm only two, on two wounds, wounds. Mm-hmm. deep. Right, okay. Fine. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Um, I hope you've got another notice roll in you. Mm-hmm. Okay, this this thing is going to take another swing at you. Okay, it didn't. It swings and misses for you this time. It's slightly off balance from the previous attack. Um, yeah. Right, so. Does it have any wounds? Sorry? Does it have any wounds? Not been no, not yet. Okay. <sighs> I see. Uh, Seems fair. All right. So this thing is gonna. Um, well. Oh no! Wait. Oh, because of the. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> it's all fine. Sorry. <laughs> what a journey. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> this. Uh, it's gonna run back towards um, the figure on the floor, and it's gonna start slashing mm-hmm. at that. Um, okay. So that's what it's doing now. Okay. I would like to run grab the figure on the floor's ankle and pull them away. Okay. If I can. Yeah, do an athletics roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was a six. Nine, three, nine. Okay. Success with the race. Yep, cool. So you grab its ankle. <laughs> you pull it as you feel your leg being tugged. <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you pull the figure away from from the corner. Um, I'm like Eddie. The rest of you um, in the real world, um, you see Victoria lurch to one side as um, as this happens. But Edie, you pull the figure out. Um, it's yeah, the sobbing face of of your brother is still. He's he seems just like incoherent with fear. Um, Okay, so that was. Would you like to do anything else, or is that your turn? I would like to embrace the figure in a really tight hug and say, Eddie, I'm here for you now. I'm here for you. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on a seven. 
Okay, the beast is on a 10, and the beast is going to um, swing at you again. Okay. What's your toughness? My toughness is five. Okay, uh, you're shaken, but don't take a wound okay. from this this big swing. Spirit roll to one shake. Yeah, that is a seven. All right, fine. You can act. What are you going to do? I'm going to run. Okay. With well, Eddie, and just just try try and get out. <laughs> See, because like this thing is just relentless, and mm. I'm having a little panic, and I just want to get out. Okay, um, athletics roll, please. Okay. Can those of us frozen, we can't speak, can we? Uh, you can try. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it would be a you know a roll to see if you can make yourself heard to someone who's in this state. But um, can I try it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. What um, would that be? Do you think? Performance. Okay. Don't have that. Don't need it though. Uh, so if I don't have it, that's a D4 with a penalty. Minus mm-hmm. two. Minus two. Six on the six. Nice. And a four and a four. Double ace. Roll them again. Six on the six. One on the four. So that's five plus 12 plus one. 18. 18. Yeah, so success with three raises. I think you, with that, I think that you're able to make yourself heard to Edie. Okay, so from everyone who's Frozen's point of view, mm. what we can see is, like, we can't obviously can't see the scene that's playing mm. out for Edie, mm-hmm. but what we can see is Edie, like, walking up to Garnet and, like, shooting her and yeah, kicking her, her and <laughs> attacking her and stuff. And then hugging Victoria. And, well, well not hugging Victoria, I guess, but then we saw Victoria sort of twitch and jerk, right? Which mm-hmm. was we don't know this, but in Edie's scene, right, that right. was the like hugging the sure. the the form of the brother. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think what De Lacey could reasonably and fairly mm. aim to communicate very clearly to mm. Edie is, it's Edie. Whatever it was you just did, do it again. <sighs> Maybe also. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but you might want to let her know she was attacking Garnet. <laughs> yeah, but I don't that. know that, that you matter. could infer that from what you. But we saw her march up to. Oh, is that what it looks like in the real oh, world? Oh yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can I see Edie that, like uh, wailing on Garnet. Oh, I thought you were having a battle like in her mind. Yeah, she than... is. But the, what you're, the, what she sees yes. is what I was describing in the house. What yes. you see is her in the room. Okay, fine. Wailing on oh, you. Well, in that yeah. case, she could definitely infer. Delacy yeah. is economical with words, yeah. though. You don't need to say stop atta- attacking Garnet. If you give an instruction fair, to do fair, something fair, that fair. isn't attacking Garnet, yes. Garnet's going to yeah, get yeah. not get attacked anymore. Anyway. What you said was whatever you did, keep doing it. No, I said whatever you did last, keep oh, doing right, okay. it. Which then the last thing to happen was the th- whatever made Victoria twitch okay. in right. our plane. Uh, you need. Okay. okay. Yeah, I uh, failed that athletics roll. Okay. So yeah, but you try I to. That and I'm like, okay. You try to scoop up um, Eddie, but uh, it's he, he's kind of insubstantial and twisting in your in your arms, and he's like, um, he's like, no, no, we have to stay here. You have to fight the monster. You have to fight it. But, but Eddie, I gotta get you out of out of danger. That's the important. I can come and deal with this later. Get your hands off me! Kill the monster! He shrieks. You're not my Eddie. Um, next round. Power bomb the child. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn's over, Nate. Oh! <laughs> you've already, you've already <laughs> attacked a child. You've had your turn. All right. Yeah, we've had one, yes, but what about second child? <laughs> so yeah, Edie, you're on a nine, the monster is on a seven, so it's your turn. Okay, am I able to do like a, another full notice on Eddie? Yeah. Like for triple check? Because she's... Yeah, I mean, you'll, if you do anything else after it, it'll be a, at a penalty. At a penalty. What penalty would that be at? Minus two. Minus two. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's uh, eight on the eight. That's 10. Okay, um, yeah, success with the raise. So yeah, you look um, closer at Eddie's face and mm. it's, like I said, it's kind of twisting and insubstantial and uh, kind of like a, um, a lenticular picture. Mm. Um, for a second, you see a brief glimpse of Victoria's face and then it mm. 
becomes Eddie's face again. Tears are streaming down his cheeks and he's like, kill it, kill it. And I'm like, how dare you use my brother's face? He rested in peace many years ago. And I take the Winchester sobbing Mm -hmm. um, and I'm holding her and I... Okay, uh, shooting roll. (laughs) (laughs) Shooting is two pieces. Mm -hmm. A six. Two sixes. I got two sixes. All right, damage. Um, All right, wait, and I got two two four, so that's 20. Right, damage is... So that's a hit with a raise. Hit with a raise, so I get an extra D6. Okay, so I've got a two, a five, and an eight on the eight. And a two. So that's a 10, 17. Cool, yeah, so you have the um, the figure in a embrace. Wait, mi- minus one, 16, okay. sorry. Uh, you fire the rifle and it just sort of blasts out the back and um, the clothes that it's wearing just sort of crumple into a heap. There's no body there. Um, it just sort of evaporates. Um, the rest of you see the, uh, the ring with the um, the rod of Asclepius on it just shatters mm. um, on Victoria's hand and uh, the darkness dissipates uh, for all of you the childhood home vanishes and um, you are now stood in Victoria's parlour um, she has stood opposite you she still has one intact ring uh, the ring of conquest um, and yeah we're going to go into full initiative you can now Oof. act as a team Edie is just a mess. <laughs> Not as much of a mess as God is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Garnet. Blood everywhere. Oh, Spitting geez. teeth that don't belong to Garnet. Yeah. yeah. Can I just get a wound update from everyone? So I have a single wound. One wound. Um, I think that I assume that scythe thing situation was one wound. So yeah, uh, one wound. Two. One, two, and Nate, are you unwounded? Absolutely Karen? fine. No. Within healthy oh, yeah. parameters, you know, <laughs> nice not not being dead thing. All right, let's deal some cards. Uh, we'll go. Okay, deal me in. Two What's for Garnet. No. Seems right. <laughs> two for Silas. Oh, oh my God. Nine for Evie. Okay. Do you get another one? Uh, is that four? Yeah. Yep. Yes, please. Do you get another one? Uh, yeah. Yep. Five or lower. Five or lower. Yeah. Ten. Like Joker! Hey. Oy. Oy. Hey. Everyone gets a Benny, right? Everyone gets a Benny. Yeah. 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 Okay, take if you've used them, take them back. If you oh, need yeah. one, let yeah. me know. I need good. One. Okay, and that's plus two to all your rolls this round. Okay. So six. six. <laughs> or is it seven? A six, it please. A six. <laughs> and a jack for Victoria. Okay, uh delay C, you're going first. Okay. Um, do I feel that yeah. heaviness? That the heaviness is lifted. You feel you feel good apart from the big slash in your chest. All right. I would like to draw my pistol rooster mm-hmm. and shoot the conquest ring, please. Okay. Um, do me a shooting roll, first of all. Okay. Um, and this is a called shot, right? Um, it's about as called as they get. A cool shot is when I... You're aiming at Specifically yeah. aim yeah. at someone. Yes, somewhere. absolutely. Spot. Something about Aim is the right. <laughs> yeah. But the Joker will cancel out your cool shot penalty. Uh, cool. So there's a plus two to this, I think. That's a three and a ten. Yep. That's a ten. That's yeah, there, all right. And a four. Okay. 26. So, success with seven raises. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to delete this boss out of existence. (laughs) Uh, Roll me damage. Uh, Okay. So, how many extra dice do I You only get one D6. Oh, right. Really? Yeah, I know. It's a really good shot, but the bullet still does the same amount of damage. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I thought I got extra. Cool. I thought I had extra sixes for the for the raise. Because you put your well, back you get, the raises. You get one for one. You get an extra one for a raise, mm. but you don't get additional raise dice after that. Okay, so that's a two d eight. I roll uh, plus six for the raise. Uh, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus ten one. plus one. Eleven. Eleven. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that is a success uh, against her toughness. 
So, um, the yeah. ring's toughness. <laughs> Sorry, the ring's toughness. <laughs> it's a tough ring. Um, the bullet sort of pings off it, um, but she, she like, recoils from this in a way that seems like considerably worse than if you just shot her. She's mm. very protective of this ring and she sort of cringes mm. back from you. She's um, doing the rest of the fight one-handed so that we can't, so, mm. so as to hide, hide the ring from us. Um, yeah, so uh, she's shaken but hasn't um, taken a wound, unfortunately. Not stirred. Uh, it's her turn. Yeah, so Victoria, um, she's, as I mentioned before, she's <laughs> floating about a foot off the ground at this point. Um, she raises her hands um, like this, and then underneath her um, is summoned a brilliant white horse. <laughs> Silas, make a fear check. <laughs> fair. Fair. It's like a huge kind of destrier kind of... Oh, like, no, the worst kind. ...large, powerful horse, and it's brilliant white. It's almost hard to look at it. So, uh, it incandescent this horse. All right. That's a four and a five. Four and a five. Okay. All right. Um, you, how are you reacting to this horse? I don't like it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sort of averting my eyes, not just because it's blindingly white, but also because yeah, it is, it is a, a horse. big, powerful horse. Well, unfortunately for you, um, the horse does sort of lock eyes with you, and uh, Victoria... They can smell fear. <laughs> ...turns and looks at you, and she draws from a scabbard a large flaming sword, and she is going to charge at you with the horse and try and hit you with this sword. Um, oh, boy. So I'm going to do a fighting roll. Yep, it's a four. Um, so just one success. <laughs> What's the damage on a flaming sword? Does the horse give her an advantage in combat? Um, she can move faster okay. and, you know, get around quicker. Okay. okay. Um, Maybe we could talk the horse round. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in humble Ned. There's <laughs> <laughs> a mediator. Yeah. Okay, what's your toughness? My toughness is... Five. Five. Okay, that is just one success. Um, so she charges you with this horse and takes a swing. Um, she sort of catches you on the forearm. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't go very deep, it's just a graze. Okay. Um, you find you are shaken. Um, also, your hands start to sort of ooze blood from the palms. Oh. Um, like stigmata. Well, I mean, more like the entire palm. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> like sweating blood oh. from your hands. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Basically, yeah. But uh, you're shaken, but you aren't wounded. Um, Grace. So yeah, good job. She caught um, me red-handed. <laughs> like the Red Hand Gang as well. Right, Edie, you were next. I get it. Yeah, I'm real mad because she used my trauma. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna. So if I do a call shot, what is the? It's minus two, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, having seen the reaction to Delacy's shot, Edie's gonna try the same okay. I think because uh, I originally was gonna run up and try and cut her hand off but she's got a big sword so Edie's like I'm gonna stay back um. she's also like four foot higher up yeah I'm like, and she was already floating two feet off the ground yeah I was like I'm not gonna reach that so yeah. uh, she's dangerously hooves. close to the ceiling surely yeah, yeah. <laughs> the horse's hooves it's, yeah. 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 the horse's hooves aren't touching the ground either uh, the horse is floating uh, yeah, my, stolen my, my little life drinks. is gonna do it <laughs> She'll just ride into a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> She's like this at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, oh, six on the six. And another six. Wow. And a five. So that is 15. Okay, yeah, good. Success with the race. Wait. Uh, 15 minus two. So it's a success with two races. Yeah. Well, I got, I, got, I got 17, but I took off the two. Oh, okay, 15. 15. Yeah, right, that's fine. That's six. Yeah, success um, with the so two, two raises. D8. That's a four and a six. So that's ten. Are you adding an additional D6 for Oh, yeah. Raise? Add a D6, and I will ne also need to minus the one. That's a six. That's five. So adding two fives to that ten is twenty. Yep, that's a success with the raise. Um, so describe how you, how you do this. Okay. So, I see her run towards Silas, swipe, and I'm like, nah, she's, she's already, like, she used my brother's dead face, and, like, I'm looking at Garnet, and I'm putting two and two together, and I was like, hey, I might have done that. Okay, not happy. So, pulls out, Scott Winchester, gets it out, and 
looks at it's on her left hand is it um, the or is it the right which side is the is the yeah it's ring. on the hand that she isn't so she's got the she's flaming got the sword, sword in the other hand, the rings are on the other so I kind of see and then I just look I look for a sparkle a glint of light flickering off and then I just go for it cool yeah the bullet slams into the into the ring you see a, a crack appear in the well it's hard to see because it's a ring but mm-hmm. uh, if you were looking closely um, you'd see a crack appear and a like a small amount of smoke start to leak out of it um, here a satisfying bling Maybe? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, um, I, hit, I think I've hit it then. Yeah. So, okay, but I see, a, I see a little bit of what is something. Cool. All right, um, who's next? Hello. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what the, um, what the consequences of letting the devil out in the hunting grounds are. <laughs> But gosh darn it, Andy, I'm willing to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So and that is so brave. Yeah. What did you say your dominion was at right now? Six. Six. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Go okay, cool. Uh, what I would like to so uh, let the devil out gives me plus six to all trait and damage rolls for the next five rounds. Yeah. Um, so what I would like to do is raise the hanging judge's pistol and um, I'm going to sh- make two cold shots. Uh, to her hand. So that's a minus two penalty to each shot mm-hmm. for um, the cold shot and a minus two for the um, for the multi-action penalty, which is minus four, with a plus six. I'm shooting at plus two twice. Okay. Do I make you roll on the Dominion table before or after? Uh, I think it's your choice, really. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that. I Those fingers are never a good sign. <laughs> I vote before. Yeah, I vote before because it's funny. Yeah. All right, before you do anything... Um, <laughs> Roll me uh, a d6. Okay. I'll let the devil out before you start shooting. Three. Three. Okay, uh, make a spirit roll at minus two. Mm. Uh, that is a, a, z- a minus one if we're going up. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or a zero. I, f- I fail. Oh, you fail. Okay, lose uh, one point of dominion. Okay. Oh. okay, cool. Acceptable losses. For Silas. <laughs> <laughs> right, and now shooting. Uh, well, that's uh, two plus two is four, so that's one hit. And that is a six. Uh, eight plus two is ten, so that's a normal hit and a hit with a rose. Okay, uh, cool. Roll me damage. Okay, so. She's already shaken. 2d6 plus 1, that is uh, 8, 9 for the first shot, and then 3d6, uh, that is a 6, uh, so that's 5, 7 plus 6 plus another 5, uh, which is numbers. 7, uh, 18. Seven plus six, 18. I forgot to add 6 to all of those damage rolls. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do that again. It's lots, basically. Yeah. So, so seven, seven plus six is 13, plus five is 18, plus six is 24. And then the first shot, frankly, I forgot. Is it nine? I think it was nine, so that would be 15. Okay, and that's all cumulative? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the ring, the ring explodes. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the ring um, shatters. The horse like just vanishes from underneath her. Um, oh my god! And she goes like, basically flying, um, lands on her back. Um, yeah, all the rings fall from her finger and fingers and clatter to the floor. Okay. Um, she's sort of scrabbling around, trying to pick them up. Um, she's like, no, no, trying to put them back on, but they just they're they're ruined. Um, I think we can safely take you all out of combat at this point. I would still like to get in front of Delacy and kind of have a hand across his oh. torso, just to be like... Wow, that was a good case. read. I was literally about to say, I'd like to walk up and shoot her in the head. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Same idea! <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? We stopped a monster. What? What? power is gone. What will... What will I do now? Be shot in the head. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Go on then. Try and shoot her in the head. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, is Victoria just a human now? 
Um, How does this work? Yeah, well, I mean, do me a notice roll. Okay, yeah, you can have a notice roll. As Delacy warms up the rooster. Well, Delacy does a car wheel. <laughs> it's a one frame animation. Like. Yeah. All right, that's a notice roll of 10. So that's a success with a raise. Yeah, she just seems like a normal woman now. She has no kind of, there's nothing supernatural. Um, uh, being attuned to the uh, mm-hmm. to the spiritual world as you are. She just seems like a normal. Here in the, uh, in the hunting grounds. Yeah, you feel no kind of supernatural power no coming off her. She's just a, a woman scrabbling around in the ruins of her jewellery. Can I do a notice roll to check the horse is definitely gone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cast around desperately for signs of a horse. That's a two and a three. Two and a three. Um, <laughs> so you look around the room. You can't see it in the room, but... Um, it's around here somewhere. I can you know, smell you know it. when you look at a, at a light for too long and when you blink, the after image appears. <laughs> Every time you blink Close now, for the rest of you your see, life, you see the horse Whoa. on the inside of your eyelids. Oh. It's there. Oh. Oh. Um, Delacy, it... Believe me, I would like nothing more than also to shoot this woman in the head. However, if it's punishment you're looking to meet her out here... I think there's no fate worse for this woman than to live out her days completely destitute and powerless and, if I may be so bold, penniless. It's your choice, boy. You make a compelling case? Uh, can I walk to a ornate dresser and just open it and start? Filling a bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there is a um, there is a safe in the room, like an upright safe with a sort of. Oh, cool. How do we handle. open this? It's not locked, she says. Still got the power of the devil in me. Can I kick a hole in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. I'm just gonna like <laughs> pull the safe like out. Yeah, it's not locked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, inside is the the ten thousand dollars you were you were promised. Um, just in uh, Gladstone bags. Lined up in this uh, in this safe. All right. As long as everyone trusts me, I'll just get the take in a bag or something. And mm-hmm. yeah. How do we get out of the Deadlands? Oh, yeah. oh we still in the Deadlands. <laughs> <laughs> are we still in the Deadlands? You are still in the Deadlands. Um, Victoria, to, like dejected on yes. the floor. She's yes. like, um, I sealed the portal. I have no power anymore. It won't. It won't stop you. She is de- utterly dejected on the floor, just staring at these these ruined ru- rings. Yeah. I would like to stomp on what's left of them. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's an athletics rule. What I like about this is we haven't become vindictive. <laughs> <laughs> she used my dead brother's face. Um, I failed. Okay. Oh. Um, you sort of, you try to stamp upset. on it, I'm but like... you end up sort of kicking um, some of the parts of the rings and they fly across the room and sort of Oh, the Silas. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. I think we should take the remains of the rings just in case they can be reforged. You know, <laughs> magical rings being whatnot. <gasps> Maybe they could be reforged. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just scrape them into a pouch. Yeah, so as you as you leave the room, um, Victoria was just there, um, sat on the, the floor of her her house, um, utterly dejected. You make your way down the, the path. Um, the Happy trails! <laughs> The gate into the ranch offers no resistance this time. You're able to walk freely through it, and you're back onto the, the main street of, of Kreutzrath. Um, it's quiet, as it was before, um, but the sky is now the right colour. The clouds aren't moving and twisting into eldritch, <laughs> unknowable shapes. Right. Um, and you're all $2,000 richer, unless... <laughs> Delacy. <laughs> <laughs> $1,000 in the yeah. same. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, 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 no way. Um, yeah, uh, everyone want their money now? Yep. All right. Um, yeah, I share. <laughs> can I, can I start like just sharing it out? And as I share it out, I just like sort of slow down a bit and realize that like when I'm done sharing this out, mm. it's all over. I'm done sharing it out. Of course, I could always act as something of a bank. <laughs> I mean, I could always use some help on my hunting trips. Things get shot, killed. Oh, I do lots of shooting things and an extra pair of hands with, you know, good with pistols. I could train you up real good. 
I was about ready to hit the road, but if it means that much, stick around a little bit. I got nowhere else to be. Yeah, that's that's sad. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the most of my travels, it, it's by the railway. That suits me. Do you get paid on these trips? I mean, I always find work in a saloon to uh, help make some extra money, which I'm sure they do some card games there. Um, and you know, what? what's better than uh, helping collect monsters and make monsters think that, you know, they're safe than a, a, a herald uh, walking in and making them feel like, oh, it's safe to be here. And then bam, the monster hunter pops out behind them. Oh, Maybe. I was going to say, I enjoy the company of this young man, so I'm in. But um, if you want to make it about this, yeah, sure. <laughs> also, you can just chill out at the saloon if you want. You don't have to. Just, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm with you, Miss Edie, if I can do something about these wounds first. Yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I have just the thing to take the edge off. No. <laughs> um, it's all right. I got some here still. <laughs> so yeah, as you um, as you have this uh, this conversation, it's just turning to evening. The sun is starting to to dip below the horizon, and you are now all uh, considerably richer, both financially and in terms of friendship. Aww. Aww. As you and your new friends uh, head up the high street to probably threaten a doctor into healing you. <laughs> Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> um, first. You have succeeded in your quest, everyone. Well Thank you to everyone for watching Oxventure Presents Deadlands. We're so glad that you stuck around and uh, went on this adventure with us. Thanks to Misty Mountain Gaming, our sponsor, uh, for helping make this show a reality. Go to mistymountaingaming.com to check out their cool stuff and check the link in the description of this video to find out how you can win your own set of Misty Mountain Dice. Thank you, everyone, so much, and we will see you next time on Oxventure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice